raised down to Louisiana, down on the black bayou, where we like our swamps and alligators, love our coffees too. We got that feeling on the road, running through our bank. It's our feet dancing when we hear that fiddle play. We love to hear that Cajun music down at the Pedro's door. Dancing with our free hearts and just letting the good times roll. We know it's God first and then our family and friends. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just a Louisiana thing. All right, this is the first trap we're going to set. Got the molasses here, mixed up with the corn. Let's go ahead and set this trap. Down. All right, we're coming up to the first trap with my boy Brian right here. Let's see what we have. The door's down. Oh, we got a pig. A boar. Is that a little boar? Yeah. Yep, sure is. Got some tusses on him. Looks like he probably just got trapped, Brian. Look, the corn still got lit. corn, so he probably just set the trap off. Let's go get him.
two. good sized pig. We're going to go ahead and wash them real good. I think the trick is to clean the outside real good. It's not going to get the meat dirty after we skin it. I may even put some soap. I'm going to get this pig clean real good before we skin it. Y'all stay tuned for that. Okay, just to show you how serious I am about cleaning these pigs, I put some Dawn soap on this thing. I'm gonna get all the mud off the fur, out of the fur. We're not keeping the skin anyway. And people are gonna say, why are you doing all that? Because you're gonna take the skin off, but it won't contaminate any meat. If you, you know how sometimes when you're skinning, if you have dirt on the skin, it could hit the meat. So this is one way of keeping it really clean. I'm definitely going to take all the soap out. There won't be any soap left. This pig is just going to be super clean on the outside. This is probably a 120, 130 pound boar, I'm thinking. Maybe a little more than that. Alright, let's ice it down. Okay, I like to move the meat around. Okay, we're back at the house. The pig's been on ice probably four days. We're gonna go ahead and cut it up in little chops. I'll show you guys the meat saw I have. It's an old commercial meat saw that somebody gave me. It's gonna work good. We'll go ahead and season the meat. Uh, we'll probably cook it just in a brown gravy. We got the meat cut up i'll show you the quickest way to season the meat if you have a whole bunch we're going to put a bunch of seasoning we're going to use my seasoning a little bit of vinegar a little bit of water you're just going to dip the steaks in there and put them to the side there's not going to be a lot of sprinkling which is nice so i'll show you guys how, how i do this okay here's the wild pork steaks my seasoning a little vinegar a little bit of water take the seasoning I opened it. There you go, the whole can. It's a lot of meat. Okay, that 
So probably a couple cups of vinegar. And a cup of water. I'm just going to stir this up. Both sides. Some ribs. I mean, look how easy this is. Every piece is going to get coated good. So we're going to put this in a bag and just let it marinate. Look at this. That vinegar tenderizes it. Gives it some good flavor. All right, there you have it. I used over a can. I used a can and a quarter. Uh, we probably have 30 pounds of meat. This is a huge bowl. It's way bigger than it looks. But there you have it. Easy as that. It'd be some of the best marinated pork. Gonna cook this wild boar that we caught. We'll go ahead and brown it up now. Might take a couple batches. Go ahead and brown all the pork down. I'm gonna put some sausage in here. I'll brown that down. We'll probably put go ahead and put all the onions, bell peppers. I didn't have no minced garlic. I forgot some garlic powder. We'll add that. Plus, my season does have a lot of garlic in it. Brown pretty good. We're going to take this out. We put the rest of the meat in. We're going to brown this down. We have some done already. As soon as I get all this brown, we're going to go ahead and add the onions and the bell peppers. We're 
got this meat brown down pretty good. I'm gonna add this back in. Go ahead and put my onions and bell peppers in here. We just gonna let them cook down in here and they'll brown. We'll just keep moving around. Let's go. 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 Let's go.